Good morning, Debbie Holloway here. I put a poll on our Women Influencing Real Estate page asking you to tell me if you're attending our Denver event on the 29th of April or not, what, is, what are the most important things that you need right now in your business? Now, so far of the votes I've gotten, they're saying best systems to use to build my business. I think that there are a lot of recommendations I could make to you, but what I'm gonna do is give you a process. I'm working on something right now for Tom Ferry International where we're creating standards of practice or SOPs for our different team levels. Good morning, Diana. It's so good to see you on here. Standards of practice. It's something that as agents, and oh my gosh, we as women, don't even think about it. We dive in, we start doing something, and we just kind of, you know, push our way through and get it done. When in order to build a business, you have to have standards of practice, systems and processes. I know my good friend, Belinda Nichols, who watches this and is an amazing woman that works for an incredible new bank in our town, traditional bank, um, shout out to them. She, she understands that you have to have a standard of practice for everything you do. We refer to it many times as a checklist or a system. And in talking to the gentleman at the company that's helping me do this, one, he said, what do you think we need and where do we start? So if you want to build great systems for your business, ladies, it doesn't matter the business that you're in. How about if you start with the first impression? The very first impression that someone has of your business. Is it the person that answers your phone? Is it you? Is it what they see when they walk in the door of your business? What is that first impression? Who is that first impression? It starts there because, and I've said this so many times, we're in a relationship business. Gone are the days. Hey, Jennifer Rupp Wentworth, it's good to see you. Gone are the days when it's a numbers game. Crank out those phones. You still have to make calls, but if we want to compete in a world where online business is competing against our business, no matter your business, all the time, if that's what we're competing against, we have to become more hyper-local. So in creating our standards of practice, let's go back to your first impression. The first impression would be something like, whoever answers your phone for you, whether it is on your team or the person the company's hired at the front desk to answer the phone, if they do that. If they do that, then they need to have a script from you of what to say when they call for you. I'm calling for Diana. Then that person goes, you're calling for Diana. Thank you so much. She is, and now she knows because you've let them know if you're in a meeting, if you are available, what to say. I used to have slips that I would put at the front desk for when somebody was coming in, for if somebody called in about something in particular until I had my own person simply because I wanted the experience to be as quality as possible for the person that may be doing business with me. It's no different than in when you walk into, there's a gal in our town that has um, the, the uh, polka dot pineapple. And when you go in her store, if she, either she's there or somebody else, they greet you, how are you? They're energetic, they're great. You know, they just really are excited that you're there and talking to you which is far better than walking into the store and finding no one. Now think about it. How many times have you gone somewhere and there's no one there to help you? And you see people walking around, even in vests, knowing that they work there and you can't even get them to stop and help you. We're all experiencing that today. What if we turn the table and say, what is my standard of practice for my first greeting with the consumer? The first time I meet the consumer, the first time they come in the door, the first time they call me. So what I want to encourage you to do, number one is go to the, our women's page and take the poll. I'd like to see what your thoughts are on what you feel you need. Let's start with the first impression. So what I would say to you is this first impression. Analyze what is the first impression that people get? Do, how do you answer your phone? Hello? How many times do you call somebody and they just say hello and I'm thinking, I've called a business here or a business person. Why wouldn't they say, Debbie Holloway, 
you know, Jennifer Rupp Whitworth, why wouldn't they say their name? Because it's a business conversation, not a personal conversation. We don't do that. Why we don't do that, I don't know. But I want you to think this week, and this is going to be a series we're going to do. What is your first impression? Is it a good one? Does it make people want to come back to you again? When, when I call up someone and they say hello and I say, I'm calling for so-and-so, what do you say next? Well, what are you calling about? Probably not. Then if you haven't said your name, you might say, oh, well, this is Debbie Holloway. How can I help you? Or this is Mary. Uh, Debbie's on the phone right now. Uh, how can I help you? Very simply thinking about, and I, I mentioned Belinda earlier, Customer service and customer relationship is critical. If you have a great local bank and you can find somebody at your, in your area, like Belinda in my area, talk to them about how they make people feel good from the moment they come in the door, from the moment they call you. That's my point for you for today. I want you to think about your first impression. We're gonna get into some other systems and how to make that work, but let's start with what's your first impression because that may, means the difference. Now, again, take the poll. And by the way, if you haven't signed up to join us in um, April on the 29th, please do. I think we've got about 100 or so women, maybe a few more attending. Would love to have you there, have plenty of room. And we've got some really, really great conversations we're gonna have about how to maximize your efficiencies in your work week so that you have more time off. All right. Make it a wonderful day. Talk to you next week.